Hello, this is a book about being kind. It's titled The Green Ladybug, and it's written and illustrated by Zachariah Rippey. Little Red Ladybug sat in the sun, laughing and playing and having some fun. They wiggled and giggled and zoomed through the sky and hooped and hollered as friends flew by. They danced and sang, then some played a game, Little Red Ladybugs all looking the same. Jim looked like Jeff, and Jeff looked like Sue. He looked like her, and she looked like Drew. Drew looked like Cliff, and Cliff looked like Bob. The little red ladybugs were a look-alike mob. One day a new bug wanted to play. Her name was Marilyn McMona Verde. She was a ladybug of green and not red. She came to the red bugs and politely she said, Hello there, new friend, she flashed a bright smile. I have been traveling for quite a while. In search of a home, fantastic and new, I'm so happy to meet other ladybugs too. The red ladybugs were shocked and piled in fright. A green ladybug couldn't be right. Ladybugs are red, orange may be okay, but green ladybugs, no sir, no way. They said to Green Ladybug, you cannot play. We do not like you. You go away. Green Ladybug said, what mean things to say. I am a ladybug. Please let me stay. You aren't one of us, a red bug growled. You're more like a leaf, another red howled. Then the pile of red bugs started to cheer. Float away, leafy. We don't want you here. She fluttered her wings, and away she flew. For a green ladybug, she felt really blue. She flew to a leaf and sat there so sad. She had no idea why they treated her bad. She had been kind. She was very polite. They were just rude, and rude was not right. Little red ladybugs played in the sun, laughing and saying, Reds have more fun. What did Green Ladybug do with her day? What happened to Marilyn McMona Verde? She sat all alone on a leaf far away, hoping and wishing she too could play. Until one day she heard cries from afar. The red ladybugs were caught in a jar. They tried to get free. They wiggled and scurried. The red ladybugs looked terribly worried. I must save them, Green Ladybug thought for she was the ladybug who hadn't been caught. They're all saying, help! Little red ladybugs having no fun, roasting and toasting all stuck in the sun. Tiny bugs captured in a jar made of glass, while green ladybugs snuck through the grass. To the top of the jar, where she whispered, sit tight, I think I can save you, just maybe I might. Little green ladybugs sat in the sun, clever and brave, a rescue party of one. The bug catcher saw her shining so green, the most beautiful bug she ever had seen. I'll get you too, the bug catcher said. Then Miss Verde hopped on the bug catcher's head. Eek! The bug catcher yelled. She kicked the jar as she flinched and flailed. Jar rolled and bounced with red bugs inside. Those poor little bugs went for a ride. And as the bug catcher jittered and jerked, Green Ladybug saw that her plan had worked. The jar had cracked open and tumbled about, and the look-alike bugs all spilled out. Little Green Ladybug had saved the day. The ladybug catcher was frightened away. And now the red ladybugs treated her kind, a better friendship you'll never find. For red and green ladybugs are all free to play, thanks to the kindness of Marilyn McMona Verde. The end. I hope you liked my story. Have a great day.